hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you how to do spot trading on binance if you are new to my youtube channel my name is femi olani and i make content on personal finance cryptocurrencies and stock market so if you love content about all of this please and please subscribe to my youtube channel and please like this video now straight to this video how to do spot trading on binance the first thing you have to do is you know have a binance account and then you open your binance account whether on your phone or your laptop and then you come to trade and then you click on um classic once you click on classic, it takes you to the spot trading um, platform. Now, once you take it to spot trading, you're going to see all you can see on my screen. Now, I'm going to explain to you everything you're seeing on the screen so you can know how to use it to do spot trading. Now, the first thing you can see here, you can see here we have BTC slash USDT. It means that we want to buy BTC with USDT or we want to sell BTC to get USDT. It just, it just means that the coin you are seeing here, the coin before the slash, is the one you are actually trading. So if you are buying, it means you are buying BTC. If you are selling, it means you are selling BTC to get USDT. And here you have um, the current price of BTC in USDT. That means BTC currently is $49,700. And here you have 24H change. You see here is showing you like the profit or loss this particular coin has made in the last 24 hours and yeah it means that this coin has made 3.5 percent profit in the last 24 hours and yet 24 hi is showing you the highest amount this coin has reached in the last 24 hours and yeah showing you the lowest price that has reached in the last 24 hours now if you come to the left side of my screen you can see you have some parts red here and you have some parts green here the red part is showing you the people that are currently selling their bitcoin and yet down here this green part let me scroll down so you can see yeah so this green part is showing you the people that are currently buying bitcoin it's just showing you how the um, how the market is currently doing and yet the price at the middle here the, at the middle of the red and green is showing you the current price of the coin now if you come to the middle of the screen where this way you have the chart and you know it's just showing you how the coin is going up and down with these candlesticks and it can also help you to analyze a particular coin and if you want to you know check some indicators you can just click this area this little area here, and they show you some indicators you can use to analyze a coin on binance now if you come to the right side of the screen here you have different coins you can trade and if you want to search for a particular coin you want to trade let's say for example you want to trade um, xrp so we'll just click XRP and it bring us different markets we can trade with XRP. So let's say for example, we want to buy XRP with BTC, we click this first one. We want to trade XRP with USDT, we click this for, um, second one. We want to trade XRP with BUSD, we click this third one. And so on, you can see BNB, ETH and so on. Now if you come down, you're going to see where you can actually do the spot trading. This is where you're going to buy and sell on binance now there are two ways you can actually buy you have limit and you have market order now we'll tell you the difference between these two now limit means that you are the one that will set the price in which you want to buy this coin now let's take for example as you can see the current price of bitcoin is forty nine thousand six hundred dollars so let's say for example i don't want to buy it at that price i want to buy it when it gets to let's say forty nine thousand one hundred dollars so let me just change i'll raise this and put forty nine thousand one hundred dollars this is the price in which i want to sell it that's for limit and then i'm going to put the amount of btc i want to buy let's say i want to buy 0 0.001 btc so you want to buy 0 0.001 btc it's going to automatically show me the amount of usdt i'm going to spend so for me to get this amount of btc i'm going to spend 49.1 usdt now you can also decide to you know use this um this percentage stuff here means it's going to help you to decide the amount of um percent of usdt you want to spend you know you are buying btc with usdt that means you already have usdt in your wallet so yeah you can decide to choose the percent of usdt you want to spend so let's say for example i want to spend 50 percent of my usdt i'm going to move this arrow to 50 percent yeah that means i'm going i'm using 85 dollars and i'm going to get this amount of btc if i want to use 100 percent of my usdt that is all my usdt in my wallet that means i'm using 170 usdt to buy this coin so this one can just help you to decide the percentage to use or you can just come to usdt here you raise it and input the amount of usdt you want to spend so if i enter 100 it means i'm going to um, get this amount of btc 0 0.002036 btc that's for limit order now if you use market order now market order means you are going to buy at the current price once you once you click on buy btc it's going to just buy straight away it's not going to wait until it reaches a particular um, price so let's say for example I'm, I'm using the market order 
all I just need to do is just enter the amount of USDT I want to use to buy um, Bitcoin. So I don't need to enter whether um, the amount of Bitcoin I want to, or, or not. So I'm going to just enter, let's say I want to enter $100. So if I enter $100, it means I'm using 58% of my USDT to buy Bitcoin. And I'm just going to click on buy and then I'll automatically buy Bitcoin. So that's the difference between limit and market. Limit means you can set the price in which you want to buy at. Why market means you can't set the price, you're just going to buy at, let's say, this particular price. This price is at the middle, the current price of the coin. So that is how you can buy with spot trading. Now, let's say, for example, okay, maybe after some days, the price of Bitcoin has gone up and you can, you've made profit and then you want to sell back and get back your USDT. Then you come to the sell order here, the sell part here. Now, let me use limit. Limit also means that you can set the price in which you want to sell. That's the difference. So let's say, for example, you know we bought at $49,100. So let's say Bitcoin has actually gone up and then, okay, we want to sell at, let's say we want to sell when it gets to $55,000. So we are going to enter the price ourselves, $55,000. Then, okay, how many BTC do you want to sell? You know, we have BTC already. How many BTC do you want to, do you want to sell? So you can enter, okay, I want to sell 0 0.00003 BTC. Or you just enter the amount of BTC you want to sell. And it's going to show you the amount of USDT you are going to get here. Or if you don't want to just do that one, you can just use this um, percentage stuff. This percentage here now is, okay, how many percent of your BTC do you want to sell? So let's say, for example, if I want to sell 25% of my BTC, so I'm going to select 25%. That's when it gets to this price. Don't forget, we're using limit. When it gets to, once, once, once you get to that price, you're going to sell 25% of our Bitcoin. Now, also, you can use market order. Remember, market order, you are not setting your price. You're going to sell at that particular price. So market order, you have to wait till it gets to that price you want. Just wait. And then let's say it has gotten to $55,000 after some days. So we just enter the amount of BTC you want to spend. If it's 100%, select 100% or 50% or any how you want or any um, percentage you want. And then you click on sell. Now, if you also come down below, you're going to see, you can see we have open order, order history, trade history, and so on. Now, if you click on open order, it's going to show you your orders that have not yet um, happened. Maybe the order that has not yet gone through. So, let's say, for example, um, you are using limit. Let's say, for example, you are using limit. I want to buy Bitcoin when it gets to $49,100. You know, right now it's on $49,700. So, let, if you use limit, I will click on buy. You are going, we are going to see our order here under open order because it has not gotten to that price. That's, the order has not yet gone through. So, for all your orders that have not yet gone through, you will see it under open order order now for other history just show you the history of your orders the orders you've been making you want to choose one day one week uh one month three months you know like that or you want to select the date you can check your order history and here you can check your trade history and here you can check your funds the funds you have in your wallet so this is how you can use port trading on binance and don't forget if you want to trade other coins don't forget if you want to trade other coins just come here and click Let's say, let's use another coin. Let's say, for example, I want to trade um, VT. So you can just choose, okay. So that means you can buy VT with just these coins, BTC, USDT, and co. So if you want to buy with um, USDT, let's say you have USDT and you want to buy VT, just click on this coin. If you want to buy with BNB, just click on this coin. There are different markets you can trade there. Just come here and search for yourself. So this is how you can use sport trading on Binance. I hope you've learned one thing or the other from this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and share this video with your crypto friends. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.